3,000 subscribers, you guys. We're going to do an iPhone 15 screen replacement guide right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So there's one thing about this phone is that if you're doing the screen repair and you can't turn it off, you can actually still do the screen repair. And then at the end of the repair, you'll do a force restart to get the phone to turn back on. All right, so we are gonna use our P2 screwdriver or star bit and unscrew the two screws from the bottom. I'm gonna turn off the phone since I can and then we will um, remove the other P2 screw and after we get all that done, we'll be able to put the screen on a heater and we will start prying it off. And also, if you need to do a charge pour or any other sort of repair, you will have to take off the back of the phone and you'll also have to take out the P2 screws. So I put it on the heater for about 10 minutes at 83 degrees Celsius. Anymore, you'll damage something inside. While we wait for it to heat up, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Cell Helmet. They got this snap ring. I really love it. You can see it's got some worn on it. And they also do a lifetime warranty, which is great. And while we're also waiting, I wanted to show you the screen I'm using. It's from mobilecentrics.com, no affiliate. And it's an OLED soft version. And this is their aftermarket version. This aftermarket version comes with a warranty, which is great. And also the soft version is because the glass isn't so hard and it won't break. And there's me. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any feedback. The screen also comes with pre-cut adhesive. We'll grab out our tools here. We got a star bit, PH000 screw, Y000 screwdriver, a plastic guitar pick, plastic spudger, and we got some alcohol mixed with a little bit of acetone and then we got some pointed tweezers and we got our metal pry tool and we got some bended tweezers but the tips were kind of bent up I was kind of upset about that and our screw tray so we don't lose track of where our screws go all right our screen is probably all heated up now so we can get ready to pry it off and we're gonna start with our metal pry tool right at the bottom. You go straight down into the frame and you'll feel it hit. And then you'll be able to lift it up and get your plastic pry tool underneath. And I do use this kind of wider edged um, pry tool. And basically, I mean, it's already broken. So I decided I would just go straight up caveman on this thing. And we will take this screen off and get this repair done cause it is worth it. So once you got your metal pry tool underneath the screen, you'll take a plastic guitar pick or something of plastic in that sort and work your way around the screen, especially if you can't get the phone to turn off, you'll want to use it because you don't want to stick a metal pry tool in there and cause some sort of short and make the phone unfixable. All right, so once we get up to the top, we'll be nice and careful, skip over the camera part and lift from the right to the left. So then we can open up the phone and we'll grab out our Y000 screwdriver and unscrew the bracket holding down the display. And then once we get that bracket off, I normally use some tweezers to pick it up because it is getting held down by the bracket on the top and you'll have to lift it up and then slide it out. And my tweezers, the pointed end of them are like bent up. So I'm having some issues here with getting the brackets moved around. So we'll use our Y000 screwdriver to remove the proximity sensor or light sensor, you may call it. And we will remove the bracket just like the other one as like you have to put it up at an angle and then you can lift it straight out. And I'll get this thing out and then we'll continue on with the repair. We'll grab our flat end of our plastic spudger and lift up the connection for the screen and the proximity sensor. Woohoo, we got it off. Now we gotta work on the hard part, the proximity sensor. And it looks like you gotta use a PH000 screw for this one and it is one screw just like all the other brackets inside this phone. It's so odd and I really don't like it. 
So we're going to grab our pointy end tweezers for this one, and then we can get the bracket off just like the other ones. you got to lift it at an angle, and then you can pull it out. All right, so I got this special liquid I've made. It's like one quarter acetone and three fourths alcohol mixed in a two liter bottle. And then I pour, shake it all about and pour it into these little bottles and allows me to take apart these electronics that have a lot of sticky adhesive on them. And so um, I'm gonna speed up this part a little bit for you guys. So you don't have to go through the struggle of how long it really took me to take this thing off. I felt like I did spend a good amount of time getting this off. And you can also use heat too. Um, like if you have a heating pad, like put the screen, lay the screen down flat on it, heat it up, and then start prying it off. I like using this alcohol stuff. It always works out for me ever since I've been using it. And so just a little bit at a time wiggling through with the flat end of the spudger and it, it got like real sticky. Like it was so sticky, it got on my hands and got my hands all sticky. Uh, it was a sticky thing here happening. But anyways, um, you'll grab your uh, pointy end of your tweezers up on the top left. There's kind of like a little divot that you can like stick the tweezer down in and then you can kind of get it at an angle to like try to do like sort of a lever motion and lift out the proximity sensor and I believe actually if this part breaks you won't lose face ID in my experience of doing repairs is on the little connector on the flex cable that goes onto the board there's a QR code on it and the ones that have QR codes are the ones that are the parts that are part paired to the motherboard like the screen has it on it and this part didn't so I'm really thinking that face ID still would work even if you had to replace this part but I'm not sure it didn't break on me so I'm not quite sure if it would or not and I could have tested that for you guys but I quote out two hours on my repairs and I had a line of phones to do so I just went ahead and got it fixed Nice, this repair is looking worth it. We got the proximity sensor off. I'm gonna peel off this plastic protector on the back of the screen. I always try to do this because I think it just looks more clean when you're done with the repair. But the thing is, is I thought about it after I pulled this thing off and it was so hard to take off that I could have maybe left it on. So then the next time I came back to do the screen repair, I could just pull off the proximity sensor by just like pulling off the plastic. I don't really know how to answer that question and I feel like maybe you guys could give me some feedback in my comments about it and tell me what you think. Do you think the plastic should be removed and why? Alright, so we will grab our pointed tweezers and this little pres pesky little bracket and I keep dropping it and I'm just gonna use my fingers here and pick it up and you just gotta latch it on the edge there and then you'll feel it kind of click in and then you'll have to hold it down to make sure it stays on it's almost like the iPhone 6 um, proximity sensor ear speaker connector how you had to like hold it down at the same time of uh, screwing it down so you got to do that and then you don't want it sticking out at all because if it does it can apply pressure to the back of the screen and damage the screen which you wouldn't want to happen and then we'll grab our pre-cut adhesive um, you can use workarounds for this I would say like 3M like adhesive you could probably pick up at any hardware store just make sure to do it around the edges and then um, or liquid adhesive if something happened like it budged or wasn't sticking I actually normally just stick it down over top of their original adhesive because I've had problems where I was cleaning it off and then cut something inside the phone and then ended up having to do like a power button repair luckily it has this big bracket so that probably won't happen but Anyways, I use a flat end of my plastic spudger to push down the edges of the adhesive to make sure it sticks. When you take that final piece of plastic off, 
then it won't just grab off like part of it and it will just like make sure it's all adhered perfectly when you're done with the repair. So once we get this all adhered, we will connect the screen and we'll give it a test and then we will put it together. We're gonna connect the proximity sensor first with our finger here, just push down on the connector and then same goes for the screen. And it's nice because I was able to power off the phone here and um, so when I turn it back on, it will turn on right away. If you disconnect the battery, you're going to have to plug in the charger for it to turn back on. But if you fix the phone without turning it on, you'll have to do a force restart, which is a quick volume up, quick volume down, and click and hold the side button until it turns on. And then I gave this phone a test. It did show up with the screen message and everything. I did run into some issues with the proximity sensor, but what I learned is it was because I wasn't laying the screen all the way down. So I, you do need to lay the screen all the way down on the front camera for that part to function correctly when you do a test phone call. We're gonna grab our metal little bracket here, slide it into the edge of that um, bracket on the bottom part, and then our Y000 screw and screw down the proximity sensor. And then same goes for the display connector. Once you screw down all the brackets, I do recommend turning it on one more time. Test it, make sure everything's working, that it didn't move or anything, and then adhere it down. You start with the top left and then push it all the way down on the top, and then you'll just work your way down to the bottom to make sure it snaps in there nice and snug, and then you'll put your P2 screws in and give it a good test and test everything to make sure everything is working. This repair was worth it, and this, making this video was definitely worth it. I love making you guys these YouTube videos. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please just share the video to all your friends and family. It'd be very great. I just made it to 3,000 subscribers, and I've been doing my videos for about three years. And it's been a great journey. I've been learning a lot, and also I've been having a lot of fun doing it. And I've been also working on a lot of different types of videos for you guys. So you might find something different that you might like on my channel. That is it, you guys. We fixed it. iPhone 15 screen replacement all done. Please give me a super thanks. It would be much appreciated.